In today's video, we're going to take a look at what I think is the best AI writing tool for content sites right now. Now, pre-GPT-4 coming out, I completely wrote off AI. I didn't really think the content was good enough, and I've actually reviewed in depth about six or seven AI writing tools, and I've never recommended one here on the channel because I simply just didn't think they were good enough, and I'll leave a link down below in the description to my site where I have reviewed them so you can check them out. Now this tool is called Koala Writer and you've probably heard of it because everyone and their granny was promoting it on Twitter for about two weeks there when it was first released. Now I didn't promote it at the time. I just kind of thought it was some affiliate hype product that people were promoting because it was good commissions. But I've actually went ahead and started testing it out and using it and I wanted to give you guys my experience with it and show you exactly how it works. Now I wanna keep this video short. I'm gonna go through and show you inside the tool and essentially show you what I would have wanted to have seen before I. I purchased the product myself. Now, the cool thing that I like about this product is it's actually built by someone who does content sites. When you're using tools like Jasper or Writer, all of these other tools, they're trying to do everything. They're trying to create an AI writing tool that does sales copy, that does Facebook ads, that does homework, that's not really what we want as content writers. Now, I'm actually in a forum where the owner of Koala Rider is, and I've followed him and his journey for the past few years. His site's got millions of page views and still do, and he developed this tool. So he's created a tool for essentially himself that he has now turned into a software product. So what's really cool about him being someone who actually does this and who's in a community that I'm actually in is I can see how the product is developing in real time. While these other AI tools are not really focusing on content sites and bloggers like us, this tool is. The feedback and the iterations that he is making on this tool so far is insane. The speed of development is really, really good. And he's taking direct feedback from a community who run these sites. I think AI is probably going to be the future of publishing and you're going to have to use it if you want to stay ahead of the curve. So this is maybe the best option so far. It might not be in the future, but it is right now. So let me show you how it works. This is the dashboard here. We've got Koala Chat, which is essentially like ChatGPT where you can chat to it. There's one cool thing that this does. It pulls in real-time data, so it can actually access Google Search, which is a little bit different than ChatGPT, which is trained on previous data. So this actually accesses you know, Google and stuff like that, which is really, really good. I'm not gonna show you Koala Chat. You can go ahead and use it if you want, but it's very similar to ChatGPT. Koala Rider is where we are looking right here. So there's two different ways you can use it. You can use it with GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Now you do have to be aware of this and it was something I didn't even really understand before I went ahead and bought the tool, but I think $49 a month gets you 100,000 words, but that 100,000 words is with GPT 3.5. If you wanna go ahead and use GPT 4, it's gonna cost you about five times that. So if you're writing, it says right here, a 1500 word article, that's gonna consume 7,500 words of credit. So just keep that in mind. Now, I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna create a blog post with you. So what we're gonna do is the target keyword is David Goggins weekly fitness routine, and we're gonna do the tone of voice right here. I'm just gonna leave it as SEO optimized, and I'd say 80% of you are probably gonna be doing the same. We can then select the language. It actually does tons of different languages if you're running blogs in other countries. Point of view is gonna be third person, so he, she, it, there. Obviously, when we're describing someone else's workout, that's what we're going to be using. However, if you're writing an article where you're doing like, you know, five best hotels or your experience with something, you could do it in first person singular. And I do think that works better a lot of the time, especially when I'm writing my own content on my website about things I've experienced, things I've did, things I'm actually reviewing. I do feel that that content does better. Now it might just do better because I've got my own photos and I have actually done it and I'm just writing better content. But I also just think that Google thinks that if it says I did this or you know I love this part of it, I think it ranks it higher. Again, I have no data to back this up. It's just intuition. So I'm gonna do third person for this one because that makes the most sense. We're gonna use real-time search results and you can actually select it to cite sources. So when you cite sources, it's going to show you where it's getting this information from. It's gonna show you the websites it's pulling from and all of that fun stuff. So you can leave that on if you want. I'm gonna turn it off. But you can leave that on and you can enter link to them websites. You can give links to the sources that you're taking this content from or you know, it's getting the information from. I'm gonna use the outline editor. So this is probably my favorite part of the tool. When you select use outline editor, it's gonna give us an outline of what the article is going to be 
right from it's going to give us an outline of the article and what it's going to be in terms of headings before we go ahead and start writing. You can also do advanced options here. So there's a couple of different things. You can do an outline prompt, which is essentially telling this exactly what you want the outline to be. So you can put your own header twos, header threes in there if you want. I'm not going to do that in this one. Extra title prompt. So if you want you know, it to go ahead and create a title based on something specific, you can do that here, such as choose a silly creative title or you can do a section prompt. So let's say you were doing top five hotels in London for pets. You could tell it that in each hotel section, you wanted to give a rating of price, dog friendliness and cleanliness of the hotel. You could ask it to go ahead and specifically say those things in each section. Again, for this, it's not that type of article. I'm going to leave it blank. So now we can go ahead and create that outline. Now, honestly, I prefer to use GPT-4. I just think it's much, much better even though it is a little bit more expensive. So we're gonna select GPT-4 here, and I'm gonna click Create Outline, and it's gonna to start to write this article. So I'm gonna let it go through this, and I'll show you the output that we get here in a second. We now have our outline here, which goes through introduction, David Goggins' background, weekly fitness routine, and then the day-by-day -day breakdown, which I really like right there. Then we've got the cardio workouts, the strength training, recovery and rest days, nutrition, keys to success, and adapting the routine. Now you can add sections in here. You can delete sections if you want. You can edit some of these. You can move things around a little bit to get your desired article format. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I think this looks good to me. So I'm gonna click write article and we'll be able to see exactly what type of content Koala Writer can push out. So we did get a failure there when trying to produce that article. It produced about half of it and then I had to go back and restart it. So the template might be a little bit different here, but it has started going through and writing here. So let me go ahead and read you out the introduction so you can see the quality of text that we're getting from this. David Goggins, a renowned endurance athlete and motivational speaker, has gained significant attention for his extraordinary fitness routine. By challenging his physical and mental limits, Goggins has managed to create a workout plan that maximizes results and allows him to compete in events exceeding 100 miles in distance. So that's a good overview of who David Goggins is. He's pretty much a psychopath who runs 100 mile races all the time. He's a motivational speaker now since launching his book. So all of this is pretty good, but we wanna get deep into what he actually does in those days, those fitness routines, because that's what our blog's about. We're doing celebrity fitness routines. So you can see here, we've got a background, which again, I think is good. It kind of, you know, bulks up the article a little bit. Background in David Goggins. I would try and keep this fairly small. I wouldn't want this to write like, you know, 500, 1,000 words. I'd expect a couple of paragraphs here and that would be enough on the background. So it wrote about four paragraphs on background, which I think is fine. He's went ahead and, you know, explained when he was born, his time in the Navy SEALs, what he did before the Navy SEALs, and then how he's kind of recognized now, which I think is good. And then it goes going through his core principles of Goggins fitness philosophy. Now, obviously, if you didn't want some of these headings to be in here, you could have removed them in that kind of article outline section before going ahead and writing the article. Now, if there is stuff that you do want removed, I would highly recommend removing it, especially if you're using GPT-4, because it will cost you five times the credits when using that. So you can want to save as many as you can, so you can pump out as many articles as you can with as little money as possible. I think this is actually really good text here explaining about Goggins' like strong mental discipline and that's his philosophy, that's what he's all about, that's pretty much how he became famous. It then you know, explains how he gets up at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning to run 10, 15 miles. I think all of that is fairly good. Now let's see the weekly fitness schedule overview section to see how it writes it. One thing I'd mention as I'm sitting here recording this video, I keep stopping when I'm like reviewing this to you because GPT-4 is definitely a whole lot slower than GPT-3.5. I'd say if we wrote this with 3.5, it would have had an answer already, but four, even on chat GPT, four is just so much slower at writing. Uh, it's still very, very quick in terms of just pumping out articles, but when I'm sitting here recording, it does take quite a while to write it. You can see here on screen how fast it's writing. It's like nearly as if a writer is writing it at a fairly high speed. So yeah, it will take a little bit longer to write, but with any AI writing tool, it's gonna be that way with GPT-4 right now. It's just a little bit slower. So you can see here how it's starting to break down those days. It's going day by day. We've got Monday strength training. It's not giving us much specifics. It's just giving us push-ups, pull-ups, squats, deadlifts. Obviously, that's okay. I would like more kind of detail in there, but I could go and do that after because I do still think that even if you're doing AI content, 
it should still be edited by a human before it's published. And just for stuff like that, I would add that detail in where it's exact kind of workouts that he's doing. One of the things that's a little bit annoying with Koala Rider is I can't go in there to that section and request it to add that information. I'd have to do that after. I could maybe go to Koala Chat and paste that section in and say, hey, please add more detail to this section. So there's ways around it. And I've actually been using this in combination with ChatGPT4. This gives me a really good outline for certain articles and I'll use this and use this as the basis. But if there's more information, extra frequently asked questions I wanna to add to an article, I'll then use ChatGPT4 to save some credits on Koala Rider. So I think it could have been a little more detailed here in this section in them workouts, but overall not bad and gives us good structure to add in that human content of our own after. And then it's got Goggins Tips for Mental Fortitude here. It's a fairly bulky article already. If we uh, do a word count on this, let's take a look. So, so far, that's not even all of it. Oh, up here you can see. So 1300 words. That's pretty beefy already. And then it's gonna go ahead and give us more stuff like customizing the routine for personal goals. Obviously Goggins is an absolute madman and he's doing so much. We might wanna personalize, cut that back a little bit, but it's interesting to see for the reader exactly what he's doing. So that's pretty much all I've got for this video. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how it worked inside the software because that's what I would have wanted to see before purchasing it. And it's pretty damn good. I've been using it for a few days now and I've published quite a few articles using it and I've had to do minimal editing. There's definitely sections like in here where we've got those weekdays where I'd like more detail. So I might add that in myself. But yeah, it's pretty damn good for creating those outlines and creating a good structured article all in one go. I hate using ChatGPT where I have to type in continue to get it to continue writing. It doesn't always kind of match up with what it's already wrote up above. So yeah, this is good at just writing a full article in one go and keeping things consistent throughout the article without repeating too many things. So just before we go ahead and wrap the video up, I do also wanna show you how it deals with product review articles because personally, I don't really recommend using it for that just yet. It's pretty cool how it does it, but it's just not there yet. It's very close, but it's not there. So if you wanna check that out, stay on. If you don't, go ahead and check out Koala Rider down below in the description. I think it's a free trial you can use 3.5 with for free for a couple of articles. And then if you wanna go ahead and upgrade, you can, and you can get 100,000 words for I believe $49. So compared to a writer or a content agency, it is absolutely just so much cheaper and definitely better content than a lot of those content agencies I've seen. So yeah, check it out down below and then let's take a look here at product reviews. So just before I wrap this video up, I did want to mention one thing and that is using this to create product review articles. Now I have not had the best experience with it. I just wanted to show you guys an example here of one I did. You can play around with it, you know, test out a few different things, but honestly, this was brutal. I asked it for the best microphones for YouTubers in 2023 and it gave me stuff like this. Like no YouTuber is using that microphone, let's be honest, if we scroll on down, Again, that's like a really, really cheap microphone. Again, it's put this in. So what I think it's doing is pulling top products from Amazon. Like this might for be the top products for that search result on Amazon because they're the cheapest products and they're just up there. But that is not going to fly as a good article for the best microphones for YouTubers. So it hasn't performed very well in that one test that I did. You can play around with it. Again, this was GPT 3.5 I used. So maybe if we used the four, it would perform better. So even when I'm running this with GPT-4, it is still giving me these terrible, terrible microphones. Now the text quality is actually very good. As an article, it's good. It just doesn't seem to be able to pull in the right products. So hopefully in future, there will be an update for that. But right now, I personally wouldn't use it for product reviews. It's very cool because what you can actually do is come into Koala Rider. And if we go back here to this bit here, you can see you wanna do it on Amazon, the number of products enable first-hand experience. So it writes, as, writes it as if you've used the products and then it allows you to input your tracking ID and the search URL. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste this directly into your blog without really having to do too much work. So right now it's not good enough to use, but in future it looks promising in terms of the tech, just that choice of products definitely needs to be updated. So that's it for this video. If you guys do want to check out Koala Rider, I will leave a link down below. It will be an affiliate link. I'll make some commission if you do use it. You don't have to, but hopefully this allowed you to see the tool and what it is actually like. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.